there are a tremendous amount of lessons that we've learned from, uh, from, from the crisis. And uh, one of the obvious ones is that um, uh, working in silos uh, simply doesn't make sense and that um, we need to uh, look at stress tests that are stressing not just firm specific but look at broad macro um, scenarios that affect all of us. So I think there'll be a tremendous growth on understanding systemic risks, things like uh, crowded trades, understanding when there are economic, macroeconomic imbalances and looking at uh, fundamentals again much more. And at the same time as we're focusing much more on understanding those major fault lines, those structural fault lines, there's going to be much more of a, uh, an emphasis on early warning and understanding when there are tremors uh, that are being felt on the major fault lines. So in our view, the um, uh, methodology that we've come up with is to integrate a stress library where we source stress scenarios from thought leaders and actually um, track how they perform uh, in the marketplace, really. And so we can actually see when there's a tipping point and those scenarios escalate from being potential invisible risks to actually visible risks in the marketplace. So I think the discipline of risk management overall is going to be much more around integrating both the art and the science, the subjective and the quantitative uh, aspect of risk management to be able to um, look at stress testing um, from uh, a uh, multi-time period perspective, looking at the interaction between systemic uh, 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 potential events and the way that institutions actually play those scenarios out and respond. What we're going to do in this course is bring people together. We'll have new content. We'll talk about emerging, uh, uh, emerging methodologies for understanding uh, stress testing, looking at lessons from uh, epidemiology, looking at uh, what a major earthquake scientist thinks about stress testing, shifting perspectives from macro to micro, looking at potential invisible risks and visible risks and seeing uh, how they inform each other and how we can create a process by which we are um, continually uh, learning uh, from feedback in the marketplace. We're going to introduce a scenario, that, a scenario analysis methodology called stress grades that harnesses uh, collective market intelligence, this cloud computer that we have that's continually reweighting um, the probability of scenarios emerging in various asset classes. And we're going to integrate that with um, that bottom-up view with the top-down view uh, as well. And we're going to apply social learning techniques. We're all fundamentally social learners. And so we're going to have the ability to connect through a social learning platform called nextthought.com, which allows people to break into study groups, discussion groups at different points in the content. So we were, we were hoping to get together a community of like-minded risk professionals who really want to share expertise around stress testing uh, and scenario analysis. I you hope you'll join um, our, uh, our community and I uh, hope we can uh, spark some network intelligence and uh, raise our game in the global risk profession.